Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here and we've got some huge updates for the car industry in today's video. Before we get into this video though, as always, some of the information provided comes from Cox Automotive and then I'll also include a link to my car buying guide in the description down below if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car. Let's get into it. So every so often, Cox Automotive releases a report or a forecast rather on the car market estimating what it's going to look like based off of the current data. And this is pretty interesting. So they estimate that new vehicle sales for 2024 are gonna be 15.7 million units. So that's up from 15.5 million that we saw last year. Leasing is gonna be up, uh, 2.7 million was the number last year, up to 2.9 million this year. Used car sales last year, 36.4 million units. This year, 36.8. So, so far the numbers look strong across the board. We're gonna see more new car sales and more used car sales. Not a huge increase, but it's better than nothing. When we dive into the retail side of things, it shows a little bit of a different story. So retail sales last year, 12.7 million units. This year, 12.8. And then you look at used retail. Uh, last year, it was 19.3. This year, 19.6. So a little bit stronger on the used car side of things compared to the new. Uh, when it comes to fleet sales, uh, last year 2.8, this year 2.9, and then uh, what this uh, also shows is going to be the valuation on everything with the used market. So negative 2.3% is what they expect the year over year change from December last year to December this year. So slight increases, but not massive increases. Now, Cox Automotive typically doesn't dive too deep into political stuff, but they did actually post a political article because we do have an election this year. And all you really need to know from this article is that 75% of prospective buyers feel like this election is going to cause huge economic turmoil, or actually, I shouldn't say economic turmoil, but it'll cause a big economic shift one way or the other. They're unsure. They just think that this election, whoever gets you know elected as president is going to cause big changes that's gonna have big effects on the economy. And actually most of them think, that's why I said turmoil, most of them think it's going to be negative. And if you watch the presidential debate, well, I'll just leave it at that. So what this means is that there is going to be more downward pressure on the car market. We already have a really weak market. Again, you have to remember, we are coming off of the pandemic and part of the pandemic, the new car market was over 17 million units per year. Now we're at 15 and a half million units and we're struggling to make slight increases when inventory is literally like almost twice as much as it was last year. Like we have so much more inventory to sell and yet we're barely seeing increases in terms of overall sales volume within the new car market. This does not bode well for the car market whatsoever. Now, election years always cause some sort of turmoil in all sorts of markets, but you know, I feel like this is oversaid, but I will say it still, I do think this time's a little bit different because with all prior elections, we didn't have the crazy shakeup that we've had this time in the car market, right? With all these prior elections, like, yeah, there's economic turmoil here and there that happens. But with this one, we just had a market where we had massive inflation with prices and just massive inflation in general. And now we're coming off of that. And so you like paired this crazy inflation type environment with you know, the internet and everything else that has changed the car market massively over the last 20 years. And I don't know, I mean, your guess is as good as mine in terms of what things are gonna look like, but I don't think it bodes well for the car market. I think that next year could be a little bit bigger than this year, but I think that we might permanently, I shouldn't say permanently, but in terms of the short term to medium term to potentially longer term, see a car market in the US that's just smaller, that sees fewer vehicles sold. And so this is gonna cause a huge shift in terms of how automakers approach building vehicles and who they decide to build these vehicles for. And so I want you guys to let me know what you think about this situation and let me know if you are now gonna be holding off on purchasing a car because of <laughs> the upcoming election, especially especially post-debate. I, I will say I have, I have thoroughly enjoyed the memes post-debate. And if you haven't watched the debate, my personal recommendation, I mean, you can do whatever you want, right? But my personal recommendation, just watch the raw clips, right? Just the whole debate in its entirety, just watch it with 
there's there's plenty out there that have no advertisements and there's no commentary just so that you can you know and that's at least what i did right so you can form your own opinion on what happened but it's uh it's just an interesting situation that we now see ourselves in i'll see you